Will beans pass more gas if in cold water than normal temperature water? Well, ice is added, then there will be more carbon dioxide respiring from the red beans. Sorry. We chose the ice to be our independent variable, and our dependent to be the bromothermal blue, and our control variable to be the test tube with the bromothermal blue inside. More specifically, if the bromothermal blue has a color change, we will have we will know if carbon dioxide is present or not. These are the materials that we used. This is a cotton ball. And the bean, a corn seed, lentil seed, and red bean seed. This is the bromothermal blue and uh, pH indicator. This is foil. It has helped to keep the experiment stable so no extra CO2 gets in it. This is ice. If your variable is high temperature, then a hot water bath will be needed. Uh, this is distilled water with a pH of 7, possibly. This is a test tube right. It is used to hold the beans and the bromothermal blue solution. And of course we need time. Okay. And what did your group decide they were going to test on? We decided to test, we changed the temperature so that we could test the red bean. So you only use one type of bean seed? Yes. Okay, the red bean. And then what did your group do after you decided to choose the temperature? We went ahead and conducted the experiment. And so what was your first step? Our first step was to pour the thermo blue into two beakers, or test tubes. And, and what temperature water will the other test tube be in if one is going to be in, what did you say? Ice. Ice. So what temperature is the other one going to be in? It's going to be a room temperature. And so your control test tube? Our control test tube was the one which is the thermal blue in there. Okay. And then you put, then what did you do after you got your bromothermal blue in three test tubes? We added be, two bean, we added one bean in each of them. And we added, and we took ice, and we put one test tube in ice. Okay. And then is there any other thing we should keep in mind for the test tubes? The test tubes have to be covered with cotton balls, so no other outer factor messes with it. All right, so now we have three test tubes, one with a red bean and ice water covered, one, one um, with um, beans and one it was covered and one with no cover and just put them blue. Okay. And then how long did you wait? We waited about 15 minutes. Okay. Our control is the room temperature for thermal blue. When we, the, the test tube that we put in ice turned yellow and but in the second trial it turned blue. And the other test tube with the bean in it what color was its bromothermal blue after the time? It was blue or yellow. First trial? In the first trial, it was yellow. So that indicated what to you? That it was an acid and that it had respiration. Had respiration and the CO2 was? And the CO2 was let out a lot. And then your second trial, it sounded like you had something different. Tell me about the ice water one. Um, I think the ice probably had melted, so it wasn't as cool as before, so it probably didn't let out as much respiration. When you set up the experiment, how did you find the seeds? We found them soaked in water. And why was that? To let it collect oxygen and release CO2.